What's up everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're gonna start something new, something fresh, something I've been wanting to do for such a long time, and that's old school racing games. Oh, right, old school racing games. And I gotta give it to the first one that comes to mind. We have San Francisco Rush. Now this game came out in the arcade in December of 1996, mid-90s. We needed an awesome racing game with good physics, good maps, good gameplay, and, and this was it. Came out a year later on N64, and you know, that's where I started playing it. I hadn't played it in the arcade, played a couple of the sequels later in the arcade, but I started with this one on the N64, and I got a cool story about this. So I remember I was over at my cousin's house, and I really looked up to my cousins back in the day. They were gamers too, and uh, my cousin Kevin, shout out Kevin, he actually gave me this game, and I think it was Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars Pod Racing. He gave me this and Star Wars Pod Racing. He's like, yeah, I don't play these two games. You can go ahead and check them out. Little did I know, both of those games were extremely fun. And they were just both racing games. And I, I had a few racing games, but I was like, oh, you know, like, wasn't wasn't my style. But you know what? I popped this in, and, and I was hooked. The thing I like so much about this game is the physics. Okay, so there's there's four different ways. There's four different cars. And there's two, so there's two layers of four different cars. So let me explain. You have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. And the main difference is how bad your car will spin up if you uh, take a turn too fast or if you start wobbling. The only one that really spins out of control is the, you know, the extreme, which would be, you know, they're not licensed cars because it was N64. They didn't, it wasn't, you know, it's not a simulator, but they are basically a Lamborghini and a Ferrari design. And um, those, I always play as those because, you know, it's, it's more fun to be able to spin out. The other, the beginners and stuff, they, I mean, it's, a, it's basically an easy mode and uh, that's fine. They're cool. But I played the extreme. It was, it's so fun. Like, the thing I love about this game is the airtime. Like, you go off, like, it's San Francisco Rush. So it's based off, if you know anything about San Francisco, that you know, like, they have crazy steep up and down roads and streets. And in this game, a big part of it is when you're going through the city, there's just huge opportunities for airtime. And... And then when you'd land, like you had to be, you couldn't even turn the wheel just a little bit before you go off that giant hill and your car would spin completely out of control. And I remember we used to just go in a practice mode that would give you, you know, 999 seconds. You basically just messed around on the map. And there, we used to just crash and try and twist and turn and do stunts and just like mess around. It was such, such a classic, classic old school shooter. And I have to say, I, because of the story with my cousin, the fact that I love this game so much, I had to do it as number one. Nothing compares to it, in my opinion. You got, you got six tracks and about, I think it's eight different cars to choose from. And what's really important to me in a racing game is the speed factor. I, I like to feel like I'm going fast in a racing game. I don't like realistic, you know? Like, I like, if I'm playing a video game, take me into a new world, new physics, everything. In this game, you you really felt like you were going fast, especially like you could switch between there's like four views. You could switch between the four views and if you're if you're in the first person without the hood, when you're going over those jumps and you're spinning, and you're doing stunts and, and jumping and twisted turning in the air, man, that is like it was that it was an awesome feeling. I like the games where like when you're high up, it makes you feel like you're high up. You get that feeling like you're actually there. And this, when you're driving for Nintendo 64, 1996, 1997, that feeling was on point. This game, when you are driving and you're going off these jumps, you're hitting these jumps, you're really there. Like it feels like you're really there. And to to emulate that in in that time was uh, pretty hard to do. So I had to choose San Francisco Rush for the first game of the series of old school racing games. We're going to do a lot more of these. What was your favorite old school racing game? And I have to say, I'm going to add one more thing. I really don't, I'm really not into the newer racing games. I feel like they really got monopolized into a realistic slash arcade. It feels a little bit realistic, feels a little bit like arcade, but they're not, I feel like they lost creativity. 
And you can tell when you play this game and you're racing, it's, there's a lot of creativity. It really feels good playing a game. It feels, it feels like its own vibe. There's no other racing game that I've played that actually feels like this. You know, if you play it, you, you'll probably see that. Especially if you're a racer. Like, if you're a racer you never played this, you got to play it. Like, this is, this is a classic. Because I, I used to consider myself a racer after I played this game and I got more into racers. But now, not so much, but I'll still go back. Like, I, I was just, I was playing a little bit, you know, to get the gameplay for this video. And I was like, I didn't even know. One, two, three, four, ten, twelve, sixteen races go by. And I'm like, damn, like, there's not a lot of games I can pick up, especially racing games that I can pick up. And I don't even realize how many I'm playing before I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I got plenty of gameplay. I was just playing for fun. You know, and that's, you know, it's really reassuring. It, it takes me back to when the racing games were what I liked. You know, it was a big part, you know. I'd say in like, I'd say like 98 to like 2002, 2003, it was like I was all into the racers. You know, I'll go into more of them in the, you know, later videos, but San Francisco Rush, if you like racing games, you gotta check it out. It's for the N64. You can honestly get a copy of this on eBay for a couple bucks, I would imagine. It's, it's super cheap. Yeah, San Francisco Rush. Check it out if you haven't. What is your favorite old school racing game? Any, any console from back in the day, what was your favorite old school racing game? Leave it in the comments. You never know, it might be coming up the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again. Hey guys, I just wanted to add one more thing. There is a San Francisco Rush that's supposed to be the same game for PS1. It's a port, but it is a completely different game. I just wanted to add that in there. I did say this was the one for Nintendo 64, but you know, like a lot of games came out for N64 and PS1. A good example would be Resident Evil 2. That game's almost the same exact game, basically is. But these games are different. The San Francisco Rush on PS1 plays completely different. This is not in my classic old school racing games. It's not bad, but it is not the same. If you like Rush, or if you are giving it a chance, play the PS1, try it out. You might like it. It seemed, it honestly seemed like a Rush port that they kind of made it more like a, I don't know. It, it just, it was like a dumbed down version, honestly. The graphics, the gameplay, there's like no music. It, it was, it was a lot different. I didn't like the PS1 one. I literally went to go play it just to try it before this video. And I was like, oh wow, like this is, this is a completely different game. Go, go play them, go play them both. I mean, you know, you never know, you guys might, one of you might like it more, but I just wanted to bring that up because this is the San Francisco Rush for Nintendo 64, not the PS1. That's the one that made it for number one on Old School Racing Games Episode 1. Thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to leave it in the comments. What's your favorite old school racers? I know I got a lot of racers on here. Leave it in the comments. Might be on the next episode. You never know. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks again, guys.